Hey guys, it's Juliana, and today I'm showing you guys how to make a DIY spring flower pot for your AG dolls. And it turned out really well. It was really cheap and easy, and most of the stuff I got from the dollar store, so it was really affordable. And also, I did not get my new camera yet, so I will be filming videos on those really soon. But this video is really blurry, so I'm just asking you guys to like bear with me and just like survive till like the next week. And also, there is a part in the video where I say that I'm using scissors instead of pliers to cut the flowers. And um, I tried using scissors and it didn't work. Like the wire, like I never knew that fake flowers had a wire in the middle. And so I was just like going through and it wouldn't work. I tried like forever. Then I just got a pair of pliers and it just snapped like in half of a second so I highly suggest that you use pliers and let's just get right into the video the things you'll be needing for this DIY are fake flowers so I got all of these from the dollar store and each like little bouquet was a dollar each and so I decided to get lilacs cherry blossom and gypso and make sure you buy like the ones with the really small petals to make it look more doll sized and more realistic for the dolls and i just threw this in to give it more like of an elegant look and to like just liven everything up with a touch of white and we're going to be cutting like these off into like smaller parts so you don't have to worry like if you get it like too short or anything like that next you just need these styrofoam balls and so i got these in packs from the dollar store i think there are like a couple in every pack so maybe like five or like more than three um yeah i think it's five or something but um you can get these at packs at the dollar store for just one dollar and we're going to be putting the flowers in there you'll also be needing a pair of pliers to cut the flowers with and I tried scissors and it like totally failed and I couldn't because there's like this wire in the middle of the stem for some reason. Um, I never noticed that and so um, it took me like forever to try to get the scissors to go through the flower stem and it didn't work and I just like took the pliers and they just plopped like right off in like half of a second so I highly recommend you use this. Next thing is this clay pot, and so this is really good material, and I bought this at the dollar store in a pack of three for only one dollar, and if you drop it, it will break, so like be careful with this. And so this is going to be where we're going to like put the flowers and stuff, obviously. This is optional, but I'm going to be using this matte acrylic paint from Walmart, and so it was under a dollar, and there's not a lot in here. So you won't be wasting a lot of paint and they have a huge variety of colors to choose from and I recommend this brand because it works pretty well with any kind of like paint situation so I really like this. If you're going to be painting the flower pot I highly suggest a brush and so I bought this in a pack at Walmart and it's um, pretty good and they came in like a whole bunch of different sizes in the pack. This is optional, but you can add rocks to give it more of a decorative look. And I bought these at the dollar store in like a huge pack for just one dollar. Finally, you will need something to like cover the surface if you are painting. And so I'm just going to be using a paper plate because after you're done, you can just throw it away. And so um, if you guys have anything better, obviously you can use it. Now we can get into the video. I'm starting off with painting the flower pot and this may take a couple layers so I'm just going to speed it up. So after you're done painting the flower pot, you're just going to like want to let it sit and just like dry for a little bit. And so um, I did not paint the inside or the bottom and I um, did not do this because well I didn't really like want to and I just wanted to like speed up the video a little bit because I know you guys get like 
like if the video was like 10 minutes long then I probably wouldn't watch it so just want to like speed up the video and now we are going to be going to the flower part I am about to cut the flowers down to size for the dolls and so um this is like dependable like the size that you want like it depends if you want it to be like higher or like lower so I think I'm gonna go with high and let's just see how it goes Here is how it turned out, and I love it so much. Um, it ended up looking really nice, and so by the time I was done putting the flowers into the styrofoam ball, the pot had completely dried, and then I just added these rocks for a more elegant look, and it totally helped. Um, so these really gave it like a more sophisticated look, and the pink and the purple just like really blend together, and. You can also like remove these leaves, but I decided to put it in for a more spring themed look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to tell me if you will try to do it. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!